pleased. I heard about it on the news this morning, and we're here from Seattle, and so we came out and took a look at it. And totally unbelievable. Oh, I just fascinating. We went uh, before the water came in. We were looking at the uh, barnacles that were attached, and they're different than anything that we've seen on this coast. Does that concern you? Oh no, it's exciting. It's wonderful. I'm just anxious to have it verified where it came from. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Concrete floats. <laughs> I have no idea what they're going to do with it. It would make a great artificial reef or something like that, probably. The wheels are, act like a rotate. There's probably another one matched up to them, and they rotate when the waves hit it, and it moves up and down, and the wheels roll, and gives it buoyancy and keeps it moving and flexes in the water. Oh, I don't know. They say they're going to dispose of it environmentally, but I really don't know. I, I'd probably pull it up and let people look at it for, a, you know, for years. It'd be a tourist destination, you know, so that would be my idea. Part of it is, is it's, it's not fun to, when you think about what happened in Japan and the tragedy and the lives lost, it's a little, it gives you kind of a funny feeling. It does, it does for me, you know, so I don't know. I, th I think it's interesting. I think it, it, it sort of uh, resembles tragedy that took place in Japan, and we're probably going to see more of it. This is big. This is a big piece. I think it's very interesting. I wish they'd leave it for a while so we could get closer to it. What, what, what does it symbolize to you? Um, hope that okay. some things might be found for people in Japan. I'd like to see them get their stuff back. Oh, I think it's amazing, really amazing. I thought the, the whole event was so historic. Seeing this washed up is just incredible. What about where it came from? Does it make you think about that again? From Japan? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I was remembering the event in my head when watching it on TV and the scale of it, and it's just incredible. You know, I, I lost a son who was a fireman, and I know the feeling, uh, you know, for all those people who knew these people personally. You know, it's a, it's a bad enough tragedy throughout the world uh, for us and for everybody, but it's so much worse for the families and friends of those people.